Hey guys, a new video brought to you today by the power of clowns. Not really, but I guess I didn't have to say that, did I? So this video is actually going to really help you with your e-build fixing skills. So I think it's really helpful. We're going to look at a variety of ways to fix an e-build. In this case, it's the pan e-build, which is a GNOME newsreader. It was reported by Mark. And let's look at the bug report. It's FL6380 if you want to take a look. And what it says is there's a build failure, I assume due to the spell checker. It looks like it requires user include enchant enchant.h. Um, but, but when it pulls in enchant, it actually puts it in user include enchant2. So pan145 doesn't build. Well, that sucks. So we need to try to understand why this is. Uh, he did have a workaround here. Uh, and he, he does admit it is a stupid workaround. And that's just to take the user include enchant directory and create a symlink to it called enchant2. And yeah, Mark, that is a bit of a stupid workaround, as you point out, because it fixes the issue, but we don't really understand why the issue is happening in the first place. So we should look a little deeper at that. So as I wrote in my reply, there's actually two enchants. An enchant is for spell checking. So I guess it, it has GTK spell functionality in, in pan, and it needs enchant. And in Gen 2, there's actually two enchants. There's 1.x and 2.x. And I'm guessing that the pan e-build was written before enchant 2.x was available. So it depends on anything above enchant 1 something. And it's pulling in enchant 2. And enchant 2 is actually different. Uh, so, so one option is we can change the dependency in the e-build. And if we change the dependency from just depending on any enchant, like one or up, to specifically one, that will pull in the correct enchant that Pan is designed to build against, and that should fix it. So that, that's just a full fix right there. But we can look a little bit deeper. As Mark points out, he's able to get this thing to build with enchant two. So this thing is fully compatible with the newest version of Enchant. That's cool. So how do we get the build to, to work properly and look in the right places? So th that's something else we can do. We can tweak the actual source code and the build uh, scripts and configuration in the source code to fix it so it builds against Enchant 2. We should probably then fix the dependency so it requires specifically enchant2 as well. So I sort of documented uh, in uh, my reply these various options, but I want to show them to you. So let's say we want to fork and fix this e-build. Um, it is a GNOME-based newsreader. Maybe we put it in GNOME Kit. It's in NetKit right now. Um, we can definitely put it in GNOME Kit. That might be the best place for it, even though it's news-related. And let's take a look and see how we would do that. So um, this is actually a good example. Now, GNOME Kit is an independently maintained kit. That means if we're putting something in GNOME Kit, we don't do anything to Kit Fixups. Kit Fixups is used by the Kit Auto Generation stuff. So instead, we we just want to commit directly to GNOME Kit. So you'll want to just make your own copy of GNOME Kit. See, it's an independent Kit, and then commit to it, GNOME Kit directly, and then send me a pull request for GNOME Kit. So let's take a look at how that might work. So we, the e-build right now is in net and NTP. 
Uh, we don't have that directory, so I'll make it. And I'm seeing, I use OBS to record this, and I'm seeing some flickering on my screen. Hopefully you don't see that, but you may. And if so, I apologize. I will look into why that's happening. And we're going to copy uh, the netkit ebuild. right in there. So now we have our forked version. We haven't added this to Git yet, but we can start playing around. So I'm going to show you the initial solution I proposed. Um, if we look at this e-build here, yeah, just in case you're getting flickers when I do that, let me pop this in front, see if that helps. Um, let's look for pan. Oh, not pan. We want to look for um, enchant. Yeah, as I suspected, it's looking for anything 1.6 or above for Enchant. So let's say you don't have Enchant 1 installed. It's going to pull an Enchant 2 and the build will fail. So what we can do is we can use another dependency format, which is that. Oh, that's the wrong one. We want to do 1. This will match anything 1.x. It won't match a 2.x e-build. And... Um, that is good. So that will work for us. It will actually pick the highest unmasked version of Enchant. So, so this is just a full fix right here. We'll get the right build. But I, I think it's kind of interesting to look into the source code and see what's going on and see if we can fix that. And get sort of a more in-depth look at what is going on underneath the scenes. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going, going to run uh, ebuild pan 0 1.45. I'm going to do a clean unpack. So that's going to impact the source code. And then we're going to look at it. And I'm going to grep for enchant in the main direct source code directory and see what is going on there. And I see there's a bunch, there's a reference in readme, there's a reference in configure, but and there's quite a few references in configure to enchant, but then there's a, two lines in configure.ac. And configure.ac is actually what's used to generate the configure script. So if I'm going to tweak something, that's kind of where I want to tweak. That's sort of the, uh, the point of control for us. And we can see that it's requiring enchant over here. So let's go ahead and pull that up in Vim. OK, so if I pull that up in Vim, you can see that there's these two package check modules lines. And what this line is doing is it's checking for package config modules. It's looking for one called GTK spell 3, 3.0 that's installed. And it's looking for one called enchant. So let me show you what it's looking for. If we look in user lib picket package config, it was looking for one called GTK spell 3.0. So it's looking for these PC files. If I cat this one, you'll see that it has build settings in it. This includes the correct libraries to link against and the correct include directories. In this case, it would be user include GTK spell 3.0. But take a look at this. Um, for Enchant, on this system, I have Enchant 1 and Enchant 2 installed. And you'll see that Enchant 1 uses the Enchant package config file. And we have an Enchant 2 package config file. And in fact, these both point to Enchant 2, as I'm seeing. They both want to link against Enchant 2. So I wonder if I even have Enchant 1 installed. No, I just have Enchant 2 installed. So I believe maybe I forked Enchant and I have it install both. 
Um, the problem is that it is looking for an enchant. Um, I, I think the main problem then, let's take a look at Pan. So if I grab for enchant.h, it's looking for an enchant directory, and it's not finding that include file. So let me take a look and see if enchant itself is messed up. Maybe I fork that and I need to fix that. So let me pause recording for a second. <laughs> 